This video is a 21st century after school session for Jamestown Public Schools. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Martz and I just wanted to come on really quick and talk to you about something just really simple and fast, which is being productive while you are at home. Now, right now it's April, 2020, and we all know that there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. And I wanted to talk about productivity and being productive while you are at home. Now, being productive or productivity means getting things done, being accomplished, um, and it's a goal to keep busy and, and do some stuff that is, you know, kind of like work, um, but doesn't have to just be schoolwork. It can be work around the home, uh, helping others in your home, or anything in that nature. So when you do something productive, you will feel good about yourself, you will feel accomplished, and also when you do relax, you'll feel even better because you know that you did something that was more productive. Uh, while we're at home, working from home or doing school from home, or even if we are going to um, daycare or doing, um, you know, uh, schooling, uh, say in the schools where your parents are at work, it can be really hard to change your schedule up from what it used to be. It can be hard getting used to um, the new schedule that we have, and you can t get used to, say, being a little bit lazier. I also have fallen into the trap a little bit. I just started cleaning out uh, my office. As you can see, this is not where my office would be, but my office turned into a little bit of a collection spot for some extra stuff. So I'm currently cleaning that out, working on a better space so I can have a more productive time or a more accomplished time working from home. Um, being uh, productive and having a clear space can make you have a clear mind. So say your bedroom is messy, try to pick your bedroom up. Uh, they always say a cluttered space is a cluttered mind. I like to say a clear space is a clear mind, whichever way you look at it. So doing something productive like cleaning your room even is really good for you to do. Now, if you are a younger child or you're a younger student and you're not quite sure how to help, ask the adults around you if there's a way to help. See if you can help your guardian or your teacher or your parents do something. Um, see if your teacher needs help with anything while you are in the setting, if they need help handing papers out, if they need help um, giving some direction, or if they want you to maybe be like a line leader or a student to show the other students the way. If you are at home, ask the adults there, your guardian or parents, if there's something you can do to help. I guarantee you it will cheer everyone up, it'll make you feel good for helping, and it will give the other people a little bit of a break, maybe calm them down, and it will get you guys to work together, creating that bond that's very important. While being home right now, uh, we are stuck with others for quite a bit of time. And I'm also with my family right now, I'm with my daughter all the time, and it's very easy to not really, you know, get along all the time. Sometimes you can get frustrated with one another. So being productive is also a good way to get some anxieties out. It can help calm you down. It might seem like a big job at first, and trust me, I know um, cleaning out the office was not the first thing that I wanted to do. Um, it actually was one of the last things that I wanted to do, but doing it and just working on it a little bit at a time has made me feel so much better and in a time where we feel like we don't have a lot of control during a situation. Um, you might feel, again, that your schedule is all off. Things are a little different. You might feel a little uncomfortable at this new change. So doing something that you can control, like cleaning your room, organizing your stuff, um, organizing your toys, going through clothes, uh, rearranging your whole closet or anything like that can really help you feel like you have a sense of control. It can really make you feel good about yourself for getting something done. And not only will it help you feel better for the day, but it'll also get you tired. Um, just say in case you're not getting as much uh, activity as you used to without having gym classes, maybe it's a rainy day and you can't get outside. You know, that's something that can also help, you know, tire you out a little bit. So during this time, I really want to see everyone try to do something productive. I think it'd be really good for you guys. It's just good for your mental health as well as your physical health, but really for your mental health, being productive is proven 
to just make you feel better. It can help calm you down. It can help you get in a better mind space. Doesn't matter how old you are. If you are a younger student, you can still help out in so many ways. You can even help uh, cook and, or bake. You can help as simple as coloring a picture for somebody in your family to cheer them up. You can send it to them in the mail. You can write letters to somebody. You know, you can do anything like that. Any little thing that's productive, anything big or small will really help you during this time. I'm actually writing letters to my families and friends to send out because not only is it nice to talk to people, you know, face to face or on video, but it's nice to actually handwrite something or draw something for them, you know, and it makes people feel good. And when you make others feel good, you feel good yourself. So I really want to challenge you, get you to do something productive. If you are in a classroom setting right now, see what you can do around uh, the room. Or if you are in a, a bigger room setting, see what you can do as a group. What is something productive you can do? Could you redecorate for spring? Could you draw pictures to make it feel more like a classroom? Could you draw pictures for each other, name tags, anything at all, anything productive that you could do, that would be great. I really hope that you take this uh, advice and really use it. I know I'll be practicing it more. I know that the, the last day or two, I have let my productivity slip. And I don't want to do that. I want to try and stick to a goal every day. I feel better about myself when I do it, just like I know you'll feel better about it when you do it. And if you're an adult, say you stumbled upon this, have your kiddos help you do something. Or if you're a teacher or a parent or a guardian, have your kiddos do something. See if they can help you do something. Get them involved. Um, it'll make them feel good. It'll make you feel good. And it'll be a bonding experience that you know, we don't always get all the time. So let's take time during a tough time and do something good out of it. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have fun. Bye.